Hello, this is Chris Sartorial. In this video I'll demonstrate how to take our previously drafted women's fitted blouse sloper and convert it from darts into princess seams. I've been asked many times to do a demonstration on princess seams. I've been reluctant to do so because uh, there are many videos out there showing it and it's really not all that difficult. It's really just a matter of connecting the darts but I uh, decided to go ahead because I may have a few pointers uh, that you might not see in some of those other videos. The first and perhaps most important one is to always start with a block or sloper that contains a bus dart. That's important because you're using the bus dart as part of your princess seam. And if you use a block like the one we demonstrated, our no dart uh, block, then you're going to be putting a seam in it that looks like a princess seam, but it's not a true princess seam. It won't have the fit or the advantages of a real princess seam. So by all means, uh, start with a block that has a dart, like this uh, fitted blouse block that we created earlier. I'm going to start with perhaps the easiest princess seam, and that's one that goes up into the shoulder. As you can see here, I've already taken our block and I have rotated the dart into the shoulder. And as I said before, it really is just a matter of kind of connecting up the darts, although you do have to do it uh, taking a few things into account. The first thing I'm going to do, of course, is just connect the bottom of my waist dart down to my hem. I'm going to line up my ruler at the midpoint along the line of the waist dart, and I'm simply going to draw a line at the bottom connecting it. And you may want to smooth off any little corner you've got there. You can use a French curve if you want to, to round off that little corner there. Then I need to connect my waist dart to my bust dart. I'm going to first, again, at, starting at the waist point of the dart on the center front side, I'm going to draw a line connecting it to my bust apex point. And then from the bust apex point, I'm going to connect to the bust dart at my shoulder. I'm going to go ahead and put a couple of notches here. I'll put, let's say, a notch a half, one and a half inches on either side of the apex. That's an arbitrary amount. It can be a little more, a little less. There. Now, as you may be able to see, the, the uh, bust and waist darts are not right on the line I've just created. They're a little bit outside of it. So when I'm drawing, connecting the waist and bust dart at the side panel, I'll have to kind of fill in that a little bit. And now I'm going to start again at the waist point of my side panel. And I'm going to connect it. Here when I get close to my apex, I'll have to do a little bit of a curve to nothing at the apex point. And now from the apex to the to the shoulder, again, I'm going to start it right on the apex point, and I'm going to gradually curve until I meet the shoulder point. I'm going to draw my line. Now I need to transfer these notches to the side panel, but I'm not going to do that for measuring from the apex because I may get, it may be slightly different width on the side panel than the front. I'm going to do it for measuring 
from the shoulder to the notch at the top. And this is yeah, seven and almost seven eighths. And then I'm going to measure for the lower notch. For the lower notch, I'm going to measure up from the waist point to the notch, which is right at six, and do the same at the side panel from the waist to six inches. And this distance here, the side may be slightly different from the one at the center. Now I need to simply cut these two things, these two panels apart. Now that I've got these cut apart, I need to add a tiny bit of ease to my side panel at the bust. This is to get it from being coming too flat at the bust apex. I need a little roundness there. You may have seen this done before. You won't always do this, but and I'll show you an example of where you're not going to do it later. But you'll just, from the midpoint of the apex, you're going to slash to your side seam. And you're going to spread this really just a tiny amount, no more than eighth, an eighth of an inch, or about three millimeters. You may need a piece of paper to place under it. That's just enough easing in to round off that at this point. And uh, again, I'm doing that in this case because my princess seam is right over the apex. Now I don't need to uh, take some additional paper along these edges so I can add seam allowance to this inner seam and then draw seam allowance around the outside. Now let's go right to the back. Again the back is going to be very similar to the front. I'm simply going to connect my waist dart with a straight line to the hem right along the mid midline of that dart. But I want to round off this little bit of curve, this corner here. I can do that. Mark my waist. Then I need to connect again like before the waist dart to the shoulder dart. In this case, I've already got the shoulder dart at the shoulder. I didn't have to rotate it. If you happen to have a very gradual curve, like this hip curve, you might find that useful. So I'm line this up. I'm going to line it up at the waist point and then at the uh, shoulder point. And then just draw. A line, Cur gradual curved line. And I also now need to draw a line on the inside. I'm not going to use my uh, hip curve for that. I'm just going to take my ruler and kind of smooth it between. Again, starting at your shoulder and kind of gradually curving and blending. right along that line. And I'm going to start to gradually depart from it. I'm going 
go to my waste point. And like before, we need to add some notches. I'm going to uh, add a couple of notches at the top. Let's say three inches from the shoulder at the center panel, and again at the side panel. And I need a couple more notches down here, a slight distance up from the waist. I'm going to do it seven, let's do it seven inches up from the waist. Again, it's not important exactly how far. Add a notch, and because this is my back, I'm going to put another notch, a half inch from that one. So a double notch to indicate that this is the back. Add those same notches on the side panel, again measuring up from the waist point, seven inches. Again, I'm doing this because the measurement here between these notches may be slightly different because you're getting these two curves, these two lines, they may have slightly different measurements, but I want the notches to be exactly right from shoulder to notch here and from waist to notch here. And again, you may find, you may find that the distance between these notches on the center panel is slightly longer than the distance between these two notches on the side panel. Do not slash and spread this to make them the same. Instead, you'll want to ease whatever additional fullness is in the center panel into the side panel. And again, like before, I need to cut these apart, add paste, uh, tape some paper to them to add seam allowances around them, and then I can cut and sew this up.